So let's start. So now I'm going to tell you something about MATLAB debugging. So let's say you get the code from somewhere, which is somebody else's code and you want to understand the code. Okay. So now somebody gave me this code. Let's say I have not written it. And I want to understand this code. How is it working? So what you can do in MATLAB is you can set breakpoints. So when I click on these numbers over here, bless you. When I click numbers over here, uh, they set breakpoints. Now when I run, oh yeah, you can see there's no run over here. Where did my run go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was just testing if you guys know. <laughs> okay. Uh, so if I run this, what MATLAB will do is it will execute all the commands before the breakpoint and then pause for me to do something ahead. So now either I can continue. If I continue, it will continue executing all the codes or I can just step. So a step is it will execute the current line and go to the next line. So like this, you can, you know, line by line go through uh, the code and see what every line is doing. For instance, the first line created the folder. The second line created files. You can see what files have over here and then how a certain line is updating that particular uh, file. You can see those dots are gone now. Also, I just, uh, from a out so if you're using Mac Mac if you're using Mac uh, there's another thing called dot DS store I guess that's also there so you would also want to remove that if you're using a Mac so what you do is you just type whatever you want to remove over here I guess it was an underscore yeah something like this and that'll remove that as well so it's good to keep this because if there are no elements uh, that are DS store, it just doesn't matter. I mean, this will still give you all that you want, right? So it's fine. Cool. So like this, you can actually line by line execute all, all the lines of the code and understand what is going on in every line. Yeah. Okay. So this is exactly, so I mean, this is how I learned MATLAB. I have not used any classes, courses. It's just I used to take codes from here and there, project codes, etc. And just executing one line after other. Okay.